Well, good morning, guys. I, uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, obviously, there's a lot of strange things going on in the world. Sometimes it feels like we're in a completely different um, planet than we were just a few short months ago. Uh, there's been a lot of sudden changes, a lot of um, just lifestyle habits that have had to change. And it's getting a lot harder to to deal with a lot of issues and you're seeing a lot of anger and stuff surface and so one of the things that's kind of important during this time is that we just kind of take a step back and just stop for a second and, and think about what's going on and how we're reacting to it um, I am NOT going to share on this video uh, my opinions about masks I'm not going to share on this video my opinion about the coronavirus. I am not going to choose a side. I'm not going to make anybody feel stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm not even looking at any of that. Um, not at all. So, uh, going into that, I just want to say that right out. We, we are not, I'm not talking about should you wear a mask or not. So, if you, it seems like there's just a lot of tension. It's almost like two, you know, warring tribes. And, you know, this one's all masks and this one's all no masks. And I, I, here's the thing. I, I understand both sides. I really do. Um, I understand the fear of a tyrannical government. I really get that. I understand the fear of loss of liberty. I understand, I understand where you're coming from. I, I get that. Um, I, I totally understand, you know, the reasons for not wearing a mask. I understand health concerns for not wearing a mask. I understand all that. I, I totally get it. Um, I will say that you should try and either not wear a mask while you exercise or only if you have to. It's not, not real great um, on your body. Um, it, typically, um, the human body has ways of excreting waste. Um, sometimes it comes out through your skin. Um, for instance, uh, sweat, uh, you know, kind of just getting rid of a lot of stuff. Um, sometimes uh, if you have liver issues, for instance, it'll come out through your skin. Sometimes it comes out through your bowels um, in the form of solid waste. Um, sometimes it'll come out through your bladder. Obviously, these are different ways that your body has of uh, removing toxins and, and, and getting rid of bad stuff. So another way that your body gets rid of um, bad stuff is through your air. As you exhale, your body is getting rid of um, some bad stuff and taking in good stuff. So, I mean, I, that's overly simplified, but I think you can understand where I'm coming from. So, moral of the story being masks, the purpose of a mask uh, is, is really to lower the risk of transmitting coronavirus between two individuals. Um, the state that I live in currently is that the may, the governor is actually talking about having it as a constant thing, even if coronavirus isn't around. So obviously we're seeing a lot of changes, and it, it's very hard to know how to deal with all these different changes. And uh, it, it gets very, very tricky. So I definitely do understand, you know, why you wouldn't want to wear a mask. I, I totally get that. Um, another reason, another place that you might not want to wear a mask is if you're driving. Um, especially if you've got uh, low oxygen levels, um, you, you should probably, you know, get tested for a doctor if you're having problems with lightheadedness while wearing a mask. Um, maybe they can give you on, on a supportive oxygen or something. So that's something to look into. Um, so just a, a few quick things before we even talk about um, the mask situation is just being careful with with when you wear a mask if your body is trying to if you're exercising your your heart's pumping it's trying to get fresh air if you keep giving it bad air that's that's not going to work out real good um, so really be careful with with wearing masks while you are um, exercising and while you're alone um, the the mask does not prevent you from getting coronavirus it just can, in some situations, possibly lower your chances of getting it. Um, now, I'm not going to talk about asymptomatic people. I'm not going to talk about any of that. Um, once again, I'm not trying to persuade you whether to wear a mask or not. All that I'm saying is, is be careful when you wear a mask, if you choose to wear a mask. Just be careful when you're doing it. Um, 
you, so that's just something to think about. Um, okay, so now uh, if, if you're a person who chooses to wear a mask, what I see a lot happening is um, something along the lines of this. You start seeing yourself as a better person than that person who's not. You know what I mean? Kind of like you're starting to look down on those who don't wear it. Uh, hey, you're not wearing a mask. You must not care about people. You must be a terrible person. I'm so much better than you. You know, all this stuff that really we have to remember, guys, that there will always be something to fear in the world. But there will always also be an opportunity to show love to other people. And I'm pretty sure that if Jesus was alive today, I, I don't think... Whether he wore a mask or not, I, I'm, I'm not commenting on that. I don't think that he would treat people like those of us who are wearing masks are, are treating people. Kind of, you know, looking down on them, seeing them as somehow less, as irresponsible, as, as just rebels without a cause or whatever. It's, it's not really overly helpful. Um, you know, and once again, I understand this side of the argument too. I understand why you'd want to wear a mask. I understand about wanting to try and keep people safe. I understand about wanting to, um, you know, the fear of death or, or, or any number of different reasons for wearing masks. I understand. I totally get both sides of the argument. I'm not trying to pick a side. I'm really not. Um, I, I will say that you, you really make sure that if you are wearing a mask that you either change it out or wash it or something because if you use the same mask over and over again and every day and it just it's not 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 great um, also you want to avoid touching it um, is really the best thing just avoid touching it because I mean germs do transmit if you're wearing gloves um, you might want to consider uh, changing them out because every time that you come in contact with an unclean surface that's going to be a problem. So just remember these little little pointers, you know, change out your gloves, change out your masks, um, and please do not discard your masks on the ground. You know, we do still have a planet to take care of, and there's just a lot of mask waste piling up. Um, obviously, you know, try not to hoard masks. There are other people who might not have one, and um, we obviously don't want to cause a shortage for people working in hospitals and those kinds of things. Just Real basic common courtesy. Um, so if you're a person who chooses to not wear a mask, remember, please, please, please remember to be patient and loving with those who do. I, I, I get, I really do get both sides. I'm, I'm, I'm really not trying to uh, pick a side or make you feel stupid if you're, you know, part of this faction or part of that faction. All that I'm saying is we need to remember to act like Christians. We need to remember to love and serve people. It's not, it's not something that we can turn it on and off. You know, um, I, I'm afraid that by not going to church and by seeing it as a non-essential kind of thing, that we've kind of done something in our minds where we start saying, you know, I don't have to act like Jesus because I don't go to church. And it's just really easy to start getting into that rut of of mediocrity, not growing spiritually or physically or just the. And that's really not a great place to be in. Um, uh, and then there's kind of this this issue with how we're talking to each other um, about people and, and just everything there. Um, for instance, I, I hear people calling the other group, whichever group we're talking about, sheep. And the idea here is, is just stupid going along with whatever anybody else tells them. And it's really an issue that both sides are doing. So really stay off the high horse and say, oh, that's what that group is doing. That's what that, no, it, it, I see, I've seen both sides doing it. The thing is, is, it's not overly helpful, and it really reveals a problem with arrogance and pride in your own heart. And you might say, well, do, 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 they do, 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 do. I, I get it. Really, I do. But really, calling other sheep, it, it really shows your own lack of maturity. It, You have to realize that everybody is in their own journey through this thing, and we're all going through, you know, stress and not really knowing how to deal with things, trying to make the right call. Some people are worried about the government having way too much control. Some people are concerned about um, health risks. You know, you have all these different people concerned about all these different things, and, and I get it. But you have to try and understand where the other person is coming from rather than just saying, hey, no, I'm right. Everybody else is wrong. You're all stupid because you're not thinking and acting like me. It's just not overly helpful. 
we, we have to remember that there are, there's always going to be differences between people. You know, one person might say, hey, CNN is the best news source in the world. Another person might say, no, it's NBC. Another person might say it's Fox. And, and, and I get that. Really, I do. It's, everybody has an opinion. Some people are Republicans. Some people are Democrat. Yeah, I get it. Really, I do. The thing is that I'm talking about is just keeping watch on your pride and arrogance. I'm right because this is how I think. And everybody else is wrong because they don't think like I'm thinking. It's just not helpful. It's not going to help bring unity to the country, to the church, to your neighborhood. I mean, really, all that that does is causes Facebook arguments, which never solve anything, um, or causes you to lose friends or, or gain people who probably aren't the best of friends or so on and so forth. Typically, gossiping and complaining all the time just really doesn't attract high-quality people. Um, okay, so anyways... Are high caliber people. I mean, everybody has value in God's sight. You know what I'm saying. Um, nowadays, we have to deal with this new reality of um, just super drama. It's 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 always something else. Uh, whether we're talking about something else coming from the news or from people or just, it seems like we're constantly being bombarded every single day. And, you know, that might be a good um, indicator that maybe it's time to, you know, just take a break from, from TV or, or Facebook or whatever. But anyways, with that being said, um, every week really is something else uh, so far this year. And you have to remember that loving and serving and, and, and living life for others, it, it's not something that, that's a fad. It's how it should be a regular habit. It's something that we should take with us through all of these different things, little crises excuse me, that are um, coming up. So with that being said, um, going back to, the, to, the, to this, I, I'm not saying you should not you should wear a mask. I'm not saying you shouldn't wear a mask. I'm not really commenting on that. Just be careful um, either way. And, um, you know, obviously pra practice, you know, hygiene, you know, wash your hands and that kind of stuff. But anyways, I, I really hope that this is, gives you something to think about. Try and find ways to... Um, to heal people, not to tear them apart. And uh, well, okay, you you have a great uh, great week, and I really hope that uh, that everything works out good for you. Stay healthy, stay stay safe, be be well.